actually this month's theme is detox. Uh, last week we had an episode about the skin that, you know, definitely the skin and, and toxins go together, but it was a little more general functional medicine. It was fantastic though. It was about eczema. This week we have Connie talking about sauna use. We'll talk about detox, but also immunity right now. Next week, we've got a guest on um, Jennifer Cannon talking about um, surviving mold. And then the last week of the month, we'll have, I can't remember his last name, but Tim um, from Real Time Labs talking about testing for mold in your home. So we're really just getting a little tighter with our schedule and our offerings, and hopefully it's kind of making more sense to everybody. Um, so we're really excited and we're excited to today to have Connie Zach on. If you haven't heard her before, she's one of the co-owners of Sunlight, a long-standing sauna company. My understanding of your story, sauna, uh, story, Connie, is that your brother was quite sick with heavy metals and who knows what. He started getting into sauna. You started to see the benefits. I don't know if early on you were also trying it and seeing the benefits. Um, but they used sort of started the company out of that real um, desire to help people with these complicated health issues. Is that right? Exactly right. You summed it up. You actually said it more beautifully than I ever have. <laughs> I need to record that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the really big difference was I was in corporate America and ah, okay. during Gamble and, and I was on the pharmaceutical side and I had a very strong passion to wow. difference and um, leave the world a healthier place. And I was doing my best to do that on the pharmaceutical side, but you know, we all know that that's, you know, we all know what that looks like. And um, <laughs> so, I mean, I got great training, great company, great people. Um, but when I saw what a difference this made in my brother's life and how it wasn't just putting a Band-Aid over something and helping it temporarily while adjusting other parts of his body, it was really, you know, putting him in a complete different recovery state. I mean, completely healthy. And um, I just thought, wow, this is incredible. We have to get the word out to other people. And so that was um, 2000. He started in 1999 and then I joined in 2002. So oh, awesome. 18 years ago. Yeah. Hard to believe. <laughs> I have about a little similar timeline with my health, you know, field it goes by so quick right it does it's crazy yeah. <laughs> but we you know we're slowly learning so much so first question I want to ask you while we are in the midst of this COVID which is kind of slowing down but we're also kind of not sure how long it's going to be around um, from what I hear you've had a real uptick in interest some great publicity I wondered sort of what questions are you getting why, you know, sort of why are people buying now and what are some of the like success stories? I know we're not claiming to like treat COVID or anything, but I know you've had some like great publicity around sauna use and immunity. Yeah. So, um, you know, we have, um, the purists did a, a article, Christina Cuomo, um, did an article about how she and her entire family are using her sunlight and sauna every day to help boost their immune system. And they, they all have um, COVID and we're not saying by any shape that um, this is, you know, can, can cure anything, but they are definitely as part of their regimen to help fight the disease. But so just kind of backing up, I mean, we know from, from our early days back um, when we did a core temperature study almost 20 years ago, when we first started the company, we did a study to, see if our far infrared, that's all we had at the time, um, we wanted to see if it was different than other infrared products on the market. And indeed it was um, because of the way we deliver the far infrared to the body. We really harness the healing properties and deliver the maximum amount into the body while we leave the non-healing properties, just that hot air, um, we leave that uh, to outside. So uh, everything that's healing goes into the body and as a result, that increases your core temperature significantly. And that gives you that fever that helps to fight disease. It helps to boost the immune system. When you increase the core temperature, we know for sure that helps to activate heat shock proteins. And that is, su that is such an important critical 
part than if boosting the immune system because when you activate heat shock proteins and that it helps to um, fight viruses and colds and flus. And so um, we've kind of revisited all that data that we did, like I said, uh, almost, almost 20 years ago, right when we started the company, we did that study. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, one thing I read, and I'd like to kind of read more about this, is um, one thing was that like when vitamin C levels in the body are low, um, and maybe something else too, I don't know if it's also zinc or magnesium, that's when the immune system can be kind of sluggish or unresponsive, and the fever is created to like activate the immune system. So obviously being in a sauna is a little different than a fever, but it, that's, you know, as they say, a, a fever really isn't so bad for you as long as it's not excessively high because it's just activating the body. Uh, and I just thought that was so interesting. So I'd like to hear more, you know, do some more research. Is it actually because, you know, certain nutrients are low, thus the immune system can't respond? Maybe that's the case sometimes and not always. I just think it's interesting. There's a lot of little interesting tidbits coming out during all yeah. this. It's been really fascinating to revisit all of that science that, you know, we really originally launched our product with. And then in 2010, so 10 years ago, we were on the Dr. Oz show specifically for boosting the immune system. Oh, wow. I know. I mean, it was 100% for this very topic of how, what are ways where you can protect yourself against the cold colds and flus and keep yourself healthy as you navigate through the, the winter season. And one of his recommendations was our uh, Impulse 3 and one which is one of the saunas I'm sitting in right now uh, because of the three different wavelengths of the infrared spectrum. And a lot of that is, you know, as the sun is obviously very, very good, you know, um, heat is very good. And, but if you can just, if you can filter out the parts of the sun and the parts of heat that aren't good, which is what we've done with our infrared. True. Sit in there and you can get a fever essentially on a daily basis. You can, it's just amazing what you can do for, for your vitality. And I think right now, I mean, one of the blessings of, of all of this, I think we talked about this earlier, is that this gives us all a chance to reset, right? And like totally like, okay, do over. <laughs> And now I'm going to start doing, you know, I'm going to change my lifestyle. I'm going to start healthy habits. I'm going to get into new routines. Everybody has the time because they're home. And so this is a great time to get into those healthy habits and use a, uh, a sunlight and sauna on a daily basis. You just wake up, you know, whether you're a morning person or you do it at night, doesn't matter. I know I get asked that question all the time. I actually saw a couple, I thought I saw a couple of questions come through. It doesn't matter. It's personal preference. What's most important is that consistent change, and that consistent activation of those heat shock proteins in your body. So the more you can do it consistently, the better. That's a great point. Yeah, we had some questions about how often, and, and it also really depends. I've always tolerated sauna even when I was at my thickest, but I have some um, clients who can only do like five or 10 minutes, low temp, and I'm like, just do what you can do. I, I own a sunlight now. We'll talk about the different types of sauna, but also I get a lot of questions like, do I have to like buy a $10,000 sa sauna? No. no, just start where you're at. Start right. where you're at. That's all right, that matters. Right. Uh, and and a lot of people like, can't tolerate that, that. A lot of people like, I know I remember when we started, when my brother was telling me, I'm like, oh, Jason, like I can't, just the thought of being in oppressive heat I can't breathe. Like, I don't want to experience it. And a lot of people, if they haven't experienced a sun lightning specifically, they're used to that oppressive heat, like that, just that kind of heat that's hard to breathe. And like at a gym, a lot of the ones at a gym are like that, right? Right, right, right. And there's some other, there's just some products that they have a lot more of that conventional air, that feeling like when you're in an oven, you open the oven, like that feeling. Yeah. And that's not what sunlight is about. It's about, it's about um, enjoying the experience because you really want to be in there. So we've created the experience so that you can do it and you can be in there. And then the solo, the one that you have, your head is out. So for those people that are just, they, they walk in the door and they're just like, Ugh, I can't breathe. It's a really nice option for somebody that can't tolerate 
or you know stay inside a unit for a long period of time yeah yeah there's some misconceptions about all that too i've actually had a couple of new friends over at my house recently and i've given them a tour and I'm like, and here's my sauna. And they're like, no, that's not a sauna. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it's a sauna. <laughs> and they're like, does it get hot? You know, because it's just a tube. Uh, I'll show you the picture later. I'm like, yes, it gets hot. And they're like, well, you know, they start asking all these questions. I'm like, well, you're, you know, your head's out. You can have your whole chest out, really, because you don't have to have every inch of your skin in for the effect. So you can, you know, read a book, do, do what you want to do. Um, and yeah, I haven't spent as much time in your larger saunas, but I would imagine the mechanism for the infrared is different than at like a super old gym sauna like I started out in, where it can be pretty hot and you can't regulate it because it's like a communal space. So that makes it a little harder. Yeah. Um, it's, I, I wanted to get over there. I, I was gonna try it, try and surprise you and be in the solo. You know, um, but, really, <laughs> but it was really hard for this for, for this call. So I thought, you know, I'll just I'll do the traditional and, and sit in um, the three in one. But you know, for for sure, and I can't emphasize that enough for those individuals that really um, just want to get started and they just want to do something. You know, it is much better to do the highest amount of farm thread on the market, get that increase in core temperature activate your heat shock proteins, get into a habit of doing that for your body as much as you can tolerate each day. And, and then you can always, you know, change and get all of the different parts of the infrared wavelength later. Yeah, yeah. So we, let's see, we got some fun questions coming in here, but. Um, I know, I see a, a bunch of you guys. <laughs> I've answered some of them. Maybe we'll just answer some of them now, and then we'll talk more about the types of wavelengths or something. Uh, somebody was saying, well, she tried a, a solo at her gym, which surprises me a bit because I doubt, I surprised her at that many gyms um, and she wasn't sweating at the highest setting. So I was asking how long she was in. What I've learned, and you're more of an expert than me, but I, I was at a trade show and this company was saying, you know, you, even if you're not like pouring sweat, there's stuff happening on the inside um, that you know, you, you don't only sweat out toxins. It's going out through your urine and your stool. You the heat shock proteins are repairing cells, killing off cells. So you don't have to be pouring sweat. And I also wonder for people who really can't sweat, you know, it, what's going on for them with their detox pathways and their thyroid. I don't know if that's a question you've run into, Connie. You answered it perfectly. I mean, okay. Um, yeah, I think you handled that. Sometimes, sometimes you, it's just no different than working out, right? Like it's sometimes when you're working out, you will sweat more than other times, depending on what's going on, depending on your hydration levels. Or sometimes I just run a mile and I'm just dripping. And there's sometimes I'm like, I mean, literally I could just like go, you know, and not even, um, I'm not even sweating. So, you know, your body, um, it depends. It also depends on how long it's been since you've used, you know, if mm session, you know, then um, it's totally up for grabs because if your body has not been in and not used to the infrared wavelength, especially the concentration that sunlight gives, I mean, it's a very, very high amount, right? It's almost, it, the emissivity is almost 100%. So it's extremely concentrated. Your body's not used to that. So it's trying to, to figure out, okay, what do I do with that, you know? Some people activate right away. Some people are slower to respond. The key, key, key is to keep, as long as you're feeling okay, you have to listen to your body. You know, you don't want to be lightheaded, but, you know, to keep in there, because there is a tipping point. It's just like what I always use the, the analogy of boiling water. You know, at 211 degrees, water doesn't boil, but you hit 212 and it boils. <laughs> point with any type of frequency, right? And so you need it to stay in there. Um, and what we found is, and I think this is one of the questions I saw as far as the length of time, we found over the years that if you, the difference between 30 minutes and 40 minutes is exponentially greater. So if you can continue on after 30 for that extra 10, it's really, your body is in like a zone. And, um, and that 10 minutes is, 
is really important uh, to continue the body increasing your core temperature, staying elevated, staying active, cardiovascular conditioning, you know, all of that. Okay, that's really helpful. I sometimes I really stay in a long time, like an hour, just because I'm like doing something and I'm into it. I'm on the phone or something like that. Because I can be do and I yeah, and you're right. You're gonna sweat more and more the longer you're in there. And I would also agree that some days I go in it takes it doesn't, you know, I sometimes I'm just sweating. Other times, it's very slow. It's also, you know, you got to preheat it, too. Like, sometimes I don't really bother to preheat it. So it's going to take longer to warm up. So that's a factor, too. So I, I do think there's a lot of um, factors. Oh, my gosh, we have so many questions. That make there was a question on, oh, shoot, it just went away. I can help. I can make sure and get to that was about the 40 minutes. Um, that said, if you're, if you're new to it. Do it at 40 minutes. And that is, um, and that depends on what's going on in your body. And if you are, like, if you were like my brother, for example, or a lot of our customers who have had metal detox and they're just really not feeling well, I would not start off in 40 minutes. Remember, this is an intense, like, uh, concentrated, infrared session where we're really giving you 100% of the healing rate, almost 100% at one time. So start off, you know, slow and work up to that. And when I mean by slow, people say, what's slow? You know, start off 10, you know, minutes, see how you feel, drink plenty of water, and then come back the next day. And if you felt great and everything's great, then you can do a little bit longer. You'll eventually be able to get up to 40, but don't, it's really intense. I remember when I first started, I would go for a run and then I would get in my solo actually. And I, I was just, I mean, I was, you know, lightheaded because I had done all this cardiovascular conditioning back to back. And it's just, it was without any nutrients, without any breakfast, it was just ridiculous. So you, you got to listen to your body and do what's right for your body. Yeah. Yeah. And I know like here in area, you know, I know sauna is very different than here outdoor heat but here in Arizona there's some days it's just been getting really hot lately and it's my body's not used to it and sometimes I'm like there's no way I'm doing a sauna today because I'm already my body's already trying to figure out what the heck is going on with weather Connie are you able to um how can I Look say these slide, questions slide through the chat because I yep. We maxed out on attendees, so I might go mess around and see if I can let some more people in. Oh, sure. Okay, so um, I saw some say, so KB, KB, I just had you, where'd you go? Okay, some say um, heart um, or blood pressure issues, but um, Sons and I recommended. That was the recommendation before, like when we first started Sunlighting, that was the recommendation. I'm very, very close to that because at PNG, I was on the um, cardiovascular side. We're actually working on some medications for um, blood pressure and some other cardiovascular conditions. So I'm really, really familiar with all of that. And what I was so impressed when we did a study, um, UMKC did a study actually in 2005 with our product and it was a really impressive study. It was a double blind placebo controlled randomized study, which basically means that two products um, are side by side one has our sunlight and patented far infrared technology. One has the technology, infrared technology, um, but it's not sunlight tunes. And so nobody knows it's randomized. Nobody knows who goes in which sauna. And it was a six week trial. And it was that study that actually um, got us on um, Oprah because of we were able to show a stat sig, a statistically significant lowering in blood pressure. So once we were able to show that, we then everybody felt safe and, and comfortable that you can sit inside, it's safe, it actually helps to normalize blood pressure and do it while, um, while you're sitting. So, the, and the, the best part about it coming from the cardiovascular uh, pharmaceutical world is it's not messing up, you know, your libido, it's not messing up, you know, your liver and your kidneys and all of that. Um, it, you're, you're actually helping your body because you're increasing your blood flow, you're increasing your, your um, oxygen. Um, and, and helping your heart be healthier. So we, we're really big into healthy hearts. Um, so thanks for asking that question. You can tell I'm passionate about healthy hearts. Um, yeah, that's a good question. I saw one about someone asked they had an older sauna and was yeah. it, how was the EMF? 
Um, I don't see that question, but I'll just answer because um, EMF is always a big question that we get. And from the day we start, not, not the day, but um, from the very beginning when we started designing our own product, uh, we shielded the stainless steel coils. Uh, we know that that's, you know, we're all about wellness. Everything from the wood that we use from the covers on our heaters, like this cover is a carbonized charcoal bamboo cover that's antibacterial, antimicrobial. Um, it helps to um, protect the, the sweat from getting you know, to, the, to the heaters. And so our EMF is low. We, that's something we were committed to um, from the very beginning. It did, like each sauna has a little bit different level um, they're all low, but if it's something that's extremely important to you, we have a couple models that are like completely canceled out. Um, and so if you, that, if that's what you're interested in, we're happy to help you guide you to that product. The one I'm sitting in has three separate wavelengths. It also has a Android, uh, a tablet with six different programs. So it has a little bit more um, electrical component. So, that, so we've canceled it out as absolutely much as we possibly can. Um, but it's going to have, since it has more infrared and it has more programs, more then it's going to have a little bit more than, for example, the solo that is just one wavelength, um, completely non-existent, uh, low EMF. So hopefully yeah. I, heard, I don't, you know, I don't, I didn't see that question, but EMF is not uh, a concern. I think it was pretty Not far enough. back here. I got, we have so many questions. I might need to organize them a bit. Um, I see. Um, okay, let me answer this because this has been a major question right now with COVID. So it says, this is from Drew. What temperature do your infrared saunas get up to? I've heard heat shock proteins are activated. Um, so um, this is, so heat shock proteins are activated by increasing your core temperature. Those are the two things that go together. It's like when you get a, when you get into that hyperthermic state, when you get into that fever, that um, state, that's when that um, is activated. There is no, you know, magic per se in the air temperature. It just may be that people have, when they've studied it, they've, you know, there may be, um, they may maybe studied it at a certain um, air temperature, if that makes sense. But we know through our clinical trial, our study with core temperature, that we increase the core temperature in only 30 minutes. And then in our trial, even after you the sauna is turned off, it still stays activated. It still stays, um, your core temperature still stays increased. So that's really important. And I'm glad you asked that question because that's been a that's been a really, really big question I've been asked right now when everybody's trying to stay as healthy as possible. And the, the other thing that's great is a lot of times when you get into that hot, hot, hot state, that hot environment, man, it is hard to stay in there. And, mm. and, and, and it, so it kind of goes against the point. Like the, really, the point is to stay in as long as possible for your body. Um, so we do have a product. Um, it's called Signature FS. We've created recently a product. Some people just wanted to feel, they wanted our technology, but then they wanted just kind of that boost a kind of burst of heat kind of at their face. And so we do, we have a product that's like that, um, that's available if you're interested in that, if specifically Drew, if that's something you're interested in, um, feel free to ask. So just to sum up, you're saying there's no magic temperature is because everyone's a little different. On my solo, I don't know if some have different, there's no temperature, it's just a number. So I think it gets to 140, but you, you tell me. What do you, what setting do you know? What setting? Because it goes from one to nine and, and you can set the upper dome and the lower dome at different settings. Do you ever, do you know like which, do you go, do you do seven, seven, five, five, three, three, or? Yeah, personally, I mean, I vary depending on like what I'm in the mood for. So um, if I'm just like, one of my new little gigs too that I realized, like if you don't want to go and commit to like the whole shower and the whole sweaty mess, you can go low temp and just kind of sit in there and read. So sometimes I would do seven, seven, uh, some days if I really want to go for it, I'm nine, nine, but nine, nine is, is pretty hot. And it's, then I yeah. be in somewhere in between, like probably eight, eight is like typical. Yeah. When I just, 
hello. I'm, I'm in, I go, I go from five, five to seven, seven, nine, nine is. It's pretty hot. <laughs> it's, it's, it's intense. So it's not, uh, yeah, it, it kind of gets out of that. Like, you know, I'm just kind of relaxing and it gets into a really hot feeling. So. Yeah. So what temperature do you think it's at when it's at like nine, nine? Nine, nine, you're, you're in that, um, 140 ish, you know, range. Okay. But keep in mind, you know, that product is so intense, right? Cause you're, you're immersed. Um, uh, it's a, it's a telescopic dome design. Um, and so you're lying and you're lying down. Most people get the pad too that has the heaters. So you're lying on top of the heaters your body is starting at the soles of your feet are covered in the sunlight and heating heaters. So you're, you are cocooned inside it. So when it, it's a different, for me, it's a different experience. If I'm at nine, nine, if I'm at 140, let's just call it in the solo, it's a different experience than if I'm sitting 140 in here. So um, that's one of the reasons gotcha. that I like to do it lower. Um, I just feel more comfortable and I, I just, I enjoy it more. And the whole point is to, you know, be in there and, and get as much time in there as possible. So you're saying since the solo is small, it could feel a little bit more intense at a higher temp and you're on the hot pad, but yeah, just push, just turn it down if you want. I, I think, I think this is like some of the minutia and I'll answer this question about joints, but some of the minutia, it, like I find people get a bit hung up on it. They're good questions, but it's really like, listening to your body like you said there's no like oh you didn't do it hot enough or you didn't this like you weren't in line. like it's just it's just trial and error and and seeing what works for you so um and i want to talk about what you're in but somebody a couple of people have asked about joint replacement and can you go in the sauna um i don't see that but it's just a general question as far as joint pain is that the question i you? think if you have replaced joint oh, pain, yeah, yeah. is it okay yeah it's okay the the infrared doesn't um affect that so yeah it's fine okay and no, I, I, go ahead the only the only people i mean to, the like we you if you're pregnant you shouldn't um use the sauna and then you want to make sure that my number one tip is hydration and you just want to make sure because you're, 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 even if you're not like sweating buckets the first time because your body's getting used to it, it's still getting into your body and you really, really, you know, it's changing your cells and your water molecules, everything's moving. You really need to make sure you are hydrating more than you would if you weren't using it. It's really important. So um, I always drink a lot of water before, during, and after. That's yeah, you will lose more water than you think, especially if you stay in like an hour. You know, I'll usually do it in the evening and then sometimes I'm just like, man, I haven't peed in like 90 minutes, which I didn't drink enough water after that sauna. So I really do notice it. Um, I think if you guys have some questions like how does you sunlight and compared to the one I own. Those are also questions you can call in, you know, if you're purchasing. Um, so I want to talk about the, the three types of infrared because I think there's a lot of confusion on yes. this. Um, I have a solo. I'm going to go show the picture in a minute. And what is, what is the name of the sauna you're in right now? This is the Impulse Series. Um, this is what we launched when I talked about, uh, we actually launched it on Dr. Oz show in 2010. Oh, wow. And this uh, has all three wavelengths. So it has, oh, there it is, Bridget. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, well, mine is only far infrared, right? Yes. Yours you'll talk about is all three. I sometimes do instead, it comes with a little thingamajig, but I sometimes do like a towel because it gets a little bit more complete. And occasionally my dogs like to venture <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> it's pretty funny, but they don't, I don't like to make them stay in there or whatever, but they just think the sauna is interesting. So the far, I, my, my simple explanation, the, the farther length goes deeper. 
So deeper means more detoxification. So if that's your main goal, um, and you're maybe like on a budget or whatever, and we'll talk about different options, um, then just far is fine. There are great benefits to the other wavelengths and you've got that handheld thing too now, but um, basically my understanding and uh, Alicia who was on helped me with this, far is deeper and more for detox, mid is middle and maybe more for like pain, joints, and then the uh, maybe weight loss, you can tell me more about that. And then the more superficial is the more for good for skin and beauty because it's penetrating more just like right superficially. Is that correct? You nailed it. Okay. That's exactly, exactly um, right. And the difference between the specifically the impulse that I'm sitting in, which has all three for, um, versus the solo is we have each wavelength and in different areas strategically designed we work with um, the experts in each field so um, like Dr. Harry Whalen who is the expert for example in near infrared he studied it I mean he knows way more than we do and so we consulted with him and he told us you know what how, what amount of joules what what exactly which wavelength um, what the size was where we should put it like how was best going to work with your body and so we have those LEDs that are in here and we have the mid infrared heating technology and we have um, the completely surrounded with our sunlight and far infrared technology, the same that's in the solo. So uh, oh, cool. tox, uh, which is a great thing for people right now or always um, is a great, the solo or the signature. We have uh, also a wooden cabin that focuses on um, detox and far infrared, and that's a great choice. So it, we created Impulse just because we found um, working with scientists and doctors that there's some value to the other parts of the infrared spectrum when we were only focusing on far infrared. Gotcha. And um, so we want, but we, we wanted to make sure we create, there's the program so that, yeah. So we have six different programs in here and the mm -hmm. tab you're showing is right here in front of me. And what we did is we researched the right frequencies, the right pulsations, which is why it's called impulse. So it pulses at different levels and delivers different frequencies of each wavelength based on science. So detox starts off with like a really boost and then it backs down to a low comfortable level. Anti-aging program is really heavy, heavy, heavy on the near infrared because near infrared is um, awesome. I call it the vanity wavelength because it's really great. At <laughs> Skin and turning this skin over on a faster level than without using it. Pain, that's one of my favorite programs in this model. I used it a lot when I was training actively um, because the each wavelength, as you said, Bridget, it hits the body at different levels. So it reduces specifically the inflammation and, and takes those pain receptors and makes them happier at each level. So if it's deep with the far, it removes that with the joints and tissues with the mid and then the surface with the near. Um, like it's really great at the knees and like the top of your feet or your ankles or like the back of your neck. So um, if you're really super struggling with chronic pain, at, um, pain all over, the pain relief program and impulse is a really, really great, great option. Well, cool. I know one of my clients uh, bought that last year. And not to say if you get like the one I have that's far that you won't get any weight loss or any real, I mean, you still will. Um, Absolutely. It's different. Yeah, this is what can be a little more customized. I love this picture. Can I get back to it? Um, yeah, this is a nice situation right here. You just have your cool sauna outside. <laughs> this looks like it's in some kind of like apartment complex. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I think that's traditionally what people think of, um, but they're, you know, totally fine to do a, a solo unit. And then I don't know if it's on here, if that little handheld you have. Let me see. Oh, the Lumineer wand. That's also yeah. a great option for people who they, um, they want the, the, there we go, the increase in core temperature 
um, with the solo that we talked about with the far infrared, right? But they also want to get a little bit of um, either pain relief or anti-aging benefits with either near infrared or with red light. And we have that in a handheld device. So essentially, we've taken some light and LEDs to go. So you carry it. Okay. With you, um, and it's awesome. It's wireless. I oh, I take it everywhere when I well when I used to travel. <laughs> right. Pre COVID. Um, and and I can use it with my kids uh, on if they had a sprained ankle from soccer or any type of. Um, sports injuries. It's really great. And that the blue light is, is fantastic for acne. And for yeah, I was telling Alicia, I have this like red and blue mask that I like never use. <laughs> She's like, well, you have to use it. <laughs> um, so yeah, my other esthetician who is amazing, she really talked about that. So this is a little different type of product and, and really fun. Even if you, some people are saying, well, I already own a sauna, sauna, maybe this is something to try. Some people are wondering if they, if it's time to upgrade. And again, some of those questions you may want to ask personally to um, the representative that you end up talking to, but there's some more information here on the site. We had a question about like optimizing your sauna routine that I put in the notes here. You don't have to do any of this, but my optimized sauna routine is glutathione beforehand, electrolytes during, binder afterwards, and washing off with uh, a charcoal soap. That would be my like fanciest <laughs> sauna routine. I definitely don't do those things all the time. Um, I love it also, someone asked about bedtime. It's, it's amazing for relaxation. Uh, so amazing. Like it's pretty hard to spend 40 minutes in a sauna and not come out feeling better about life. Um, so, you know, if you have a, if you're a person who has a hard time winding down um, or, you know, you're just worried during this time or you had a stressful day, it's, it's just so amazing. It's generally going to help you, you know, sleep better, recover better, that kind of a thing. Um, Patsy is asking if she's wanting to use it for immunity, what temperature, how long, any special considerations? Yeah, so um, it, depending on which, let's just say the Solo, you know, it's a great product. We'll start there. You know, um, I would, well, I mean, I, I, I personally um, would do or if you if you aren't new and you aren't super sick, so I let purpose, I would do 40 minutes and I would do it every day. You can't, I can't stress enough, especially like, you know, the world is starting to reopen a little bit, you know, um, and I just really encourage everybody to start their habits before, you know, I don't know what our new normal looks like, but I do know that these types of viruses and these types of conditions aren't going to go away. And I do know we all need to take control and to invest in our personal well-being. And especially, you know, as, as, a, as a mom who, if I'm not healthy, and I can't even imagine going through all this, being a teacher and a mom and, you know, a wife and a business owner, all, like if I wasn't at my optimal health. So I'm in there every day. And, and just do whatever, you know, look at your day and think of what works best and just try and schedule it um, according to how, you know, everybody, know, how you know, whether you want to do it at the end of the day before you go to sleep or I'm a, you know, morning person, I like okay. jumpstart my day. That's actually not maybe something I should consider because lately it's so bright here that it's hard to sleep in, but I also don't really want to like go do anything <laughs> because I do. I like to ease into the day. So maybe I should just try that or get my son to try that. He's like, you know, not in school and he likes to like go get on screens before school and I'm getting to be like, mm, I don't know what, you know, so I'm going to ixnay that and maybe say you can read you can use the sauna you can play with the dogs but not getting on screen <laughs> in the morning so another tip i just um i wanted to share especially during this time because thinking of the whole being at home with the kids is one if you've never used it before one of the results you get is that 
mental clarity, just that kind of refreshed feeling. It's not like what you would think of with the sauna when you get drained. It's actually the opposite. You actually have more energy and the, the mind is clear. So now, like when everybody's home and you like, you know, if you're on Zoom or you're or helping your kids or or whatever you're doing, and you really need that um, mental break where you feel like, okay, I'm at a creative wall, I'm at a block. That this is a great thing to do to kind of reset your your head, clear out the fog, and give you that fresh start. Um, and that really can happen in only about 20 minutes. I mean, if you can stand there longer, great. But it's just it's a great kind of little hack <laughs> um, to teach you on on with work and get you back to be more productive. It'll because it, it it's increasing your oxygen, so it's increasing that blood flow. So it's making it's getting rid of that fog and making your head clear. Well, you just brought up a good. We had a question in the private Q and A. Someone who with has anemia and wondering which setting to use. I'm kind of mentioning there's a lot of different. Um, things potentially going on with anemia. Um, she's mentioning heavy metals, but there's so many different reasons for anemia. Is there any setting you like to increase oxygen? Man, I don't have an answer for that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think that it was from Sissy. There's so many things. I actually love hyperbaric oxygen chamber too, but there's so many reasons for anemia could be the, the heavy metals you mentioned, but as we age, we make less stomach acid, we can have autoimmune disease to our parietal cells, and then we don't get B12 absorbed. Like there's so many things. So I would say just use your sauna, Sissy. I'm glad you're enjoying it. And just like maybe experiment with different settings, see what you like. Here's a great question from Teresa. If someone has COVID in the family, can you share the sauna with them? Oof. Well, you know, actually the Cuomo's share their sauna. So oh, okay. But they, do they all have it? Mm -hmm. all okay. three, as I understand it. Um, now don't, I mean, I, I wouldn't invite my cousin over who had COVID. Yeah. I'd say, go get your own my <laughs> sauna. <laughs> my sauna. But yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> I don't have enough. I, 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 I don't know the answer to that question. I, yeah, I, it's a tough one. Um, but yeah. they are, someone was also asking about sanitizing and stuff or what if you're in a public sauna. Again, I don't think there's like a perfect answer, but they can be a bit hard to sanitize because sweating everywhere and fabrics and da da da. So I would be not so inclined to share it with somebody. Like if my partner had COVID, I'd be like, you take the sauna for a while. I'm just going to do something else because they should have it. But I don't think I would necessarily go back and forth with it personally. It may be a little matter of like personal judgment. Yeah. Uh, just someone. Like, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, someone was asking privately about kids. Um, my son loves the sauna and they generally, I find like a lower temp. They can't handle a high temp, um, but I haven't seen, I mean, cause it can go so low. I, I mean, is there any restriction on kids and that? So our, our rule is, and my kids, I mean, especially like this has been one of the best things that's come out of this is they are using it all the time because I'm in there and they just think it's cool. We have a special place and, um, but they, the general rule is, is one minute per age. So 10 years old and 10 minutes. I will tell you that most kids, like well, I have a 10 year old and he would like, he wants to be in there longer. So it's your, you're the parent. It's, a, you know, you're whatever you're comfortable with. Um, eventually they will say, yeah, I'm done. You know, I mean, kids are so awesome at, at listening to their, their bodies. And so when they say they're done, I'm they're, they're done. Um, but that's the general rule, one, one minute per age. And I also find, and it's funny when you're showing that picture, Bridget, of your dog, when I was in, um, as the solo, uh, a couple weeks ago and my little golden doodle, oh, she just like snuggled, right? She just like, oh, the came in. It was the cute. I have a picture. I just sent it to you. It was the cutest. I'm like, oh, Bella. Yeah, they like the heat too, right? They like yeah. 
Yeah, I, I get a dogs and kids like they do they kind of know their limit like my son will be in there maybe longer than his age but he's low it's low he's like half out he's reading a book and if he gets hot he'll all just find him in there just he's not in there anymore he'll just be out of it so he tends to like know what his what his limit, limit is um andrew's saying heat destroyed covid but yeah, I think there's some debate on all that with the heat because there's some like, I think false information, like as soon as it gets hot out, all the COVID's going to die. Um, so maybe some COVID could be killed if it was on your sauna, but like also if there's a little bit of moisture trapped somewhere, that could be, there probably wouldn't be, but um, I think there's, yeah, we don't, at least I don't know quite as much about the heat. And I think that there are some, I got someone on my team who lives in, so I live in Arizona, obviously really hot. And my neighbor was like, oh, everything's going to die and we're all going to be safe. But I had someone on my team from India and I'm, it's 100 degrees there already. And he's like, no, we still have COVID. And so I, you know, I don't know, um, you know, a sauna is going warmer than that, but I wouldn't use, I wouldn't rely on heat as a way to necessarily kill COVID. Um, yeah, let's see. So I wonder if there's anything else we should cover here. We had some more specific questions. Again, I think you can kind of work with customer service on some of that. We did have some other questions about cleaning. We've had a lot of questions about cleaning, maybe because of what's going on right now. Do you have any sprays or things you like, Connie? I mean, we use the, you know, just a natural um, disinfectant in our okay. in between and we have just so you know i think i think i saw somebody early early on that was asking about commercial so we have um in our headquarters our sunlight and um, company and then downstairs we have our own healing day spa and we oh. built that we could learn about how to best communicate with businesses and how to help businesses um you know, answer questions about our products. So if, if, if there's there's quite a few questions in here and I, I don't see them right now, but I am more than happy to help answer your commercial questions um, privately. You can send me an email, um, czak at sunlighten.com um, and I can help answer that. We've, we've had the day spa for 11 years and we sanitize in between, you know, each, um, each use. We do have our bamboo carbon fibers that we found when we made our impulse sauna. We love the fiber so much that we ended up turning it into everything. <laughs> I mean, it's in the, it's in our, we have towels, we have the cover that covers the solo pad, we have the, the carbonized bamboo covers the solo. It's just, it's an amazing, amazing fiber and it's very strong to protect against bacteria. So that's another thing that we love about it. So when you come into our day saw, you're given a carbonized bamboo wrap and you have a, um, a robe and that helps to make sure um, and keep any types of bacteria sweat away from, you know, the unit itself. Um, okay. Okay. I'm going to go show the website one more time, but we just had a question from Ryan about Lyme. I think you had something on your site recently about Lyme because it was at Lyme Awareness Month or something like that. Yeah, Dr. Dietrich Klinghart, um, who's kind of the, you know, um, godfather of research with Lyme disease. Oh man, he um, he invested in our signature sauna. Let's just call this I say 15 years ago. He's been with us for a long, long time, and um, he studied he studied toxins being removed and showed that again related back to that increase in core temperature and that detox can happen from using our sunlight and sauna. And um, so he, it's part of his, what he does, his Lyme protocol for his patients uh, it, using a sunlight signature specifically. He's really um, specific as far as which one. He, that's his protocol. So every May, we always um, do everything we can to help with awareness and anything we can do. We, donate um, to research and donate to different nonprofits to help with Lyme disease. So the signature is the one that's it's, big, but it's far infrared. Is that correct? 
Yeah, it's essentially like you're solo in a cabin. Okay. Okay. So it really is the same. Like we actually, when we we had the solo first, and then we developed the signature, we actually we just took the design of the solo and put it into the signature. So we put a heater at the feet. We put heaters on the sides. We have a heater in front. Like we we really modeled it because we knew how effective the solo was, and we put it into the wooden cabin. Awesome. So Ryan, I'll just make yeah. a few of my comments on Lyme too. And she was saying low EMF. Um, Lyme isn't something we treat heavily, but we're going to be introducing Lyme testing in the coming year. No one really cares about it right now, frankly. Everyone's saving their money. Um, but we're ready with the test. I'm going to starting to develop proto. It can be hard because if you are quite ill, you don't want to detox too quickly. So we talked about that earlier, what's the right amount, and that really depends on your friends. They could come, you know, be getting familiar with your sauna. Um, a product I think is pretty, a few products I think are amazing are the liposomal biocidin. Um, that we don't sell yet, but we probably will. We sell the tincture of biocidin that works in the gut. But with Lyme, you really want to get to all the tissues, so the liposomal will do that, as will the mouthwash and the toothpaste because you can have Lyme disease in your cavitations. So some of those products uh, with us from biobotanical research can be good, but go slow and then do a binder. Um, we you know, generally use the GI detox binder. We'll also be later offering heavy metal testing and a little more protocol around that. You certainly can do sauna for that. Um, you can use a GI detox or a pectisol C for some heavy metal detox. I think was it Sissy asking a little bit about heavy metal detox? I will just say, you know, I'm not, th these are complicated cases. So don't say, oh, that lady told me to go do this stuff and now I feel worse. Like it's complicated. So somebody can only do one, one drop of a tincture. Somebody can only do five minutes in the sun. So we're all different and you're in a sense lucky if you can do a lot, but even if you have to go really slow, you can still get better. You just have to honor your body and go slow. Um, so I hope that helps a little bit, Ryan. Yeah, somebody's, you know, I always say too, there's always more you can try. So sometimes people don't tell their supplements well, but what if you can use your sauna every day? That's amazing. Uh, or would you try hyperbaric oxygen or red light therapy or, you know, there's so many things that we can try. So people say, I tried everything. No, you haven't tried it. There's always more. You can get your fillings removed. You can, you know, get EMDR. There's always more you can do. Um, and I'm big into things that aren't supplements, to be honest. Like I love techniques that you can do so you don't have to take another pill you just become more engaged with it, uh, becomes part of your lifestyle. So I'm just really thankful. And yeah, I, I did not know Connie when I bought my Sun Lane. I bought it completely yeah. on my own, full price. True story. <laughs> I didn't do this because I got a free, free sauna. I did it because I knew the company. So when I went to make the choice, and I had to make my choice just like everyone else, I talked to them. I decided to, to try it. Um, and then later we developed a relationship. So, um, don't think, oh, I just picked this cause like Connie, paid me. <laughs> I already had it. I've had it for three years now. So, um, and before that I didn't just cause I was displaced from mold and I really, it really wasn't the right time for me to buy a sauna until, you know, I was settled, which is another, you know, kind of tip, like, please don't buy an expensive sauna and put it in a moldy home. Um, wait till you're ready to put it in a safe um, space. So we were a little all over the place today, but I think it was a fun conversation. Um, again, this is, if you want to just go to my site and go to Bridget's favorites, then the sunlight and link is right on the top. And uh, it sounds like we'll be editing that to say free shipping. Anything we missed, Connie, that you want to chat about? There were two questions, like what easy answer. Somebody I said, are they sold in Canada? Yes, yes, we're okay. sold all over the world. And then this other question I thought was really interesting, um, and that is I get asked this a lot. I don't, I don't have a great answer, but I wanted to at least recognize um, the question that says that with traditional 
traditional saunas, which um, are like the rocks and the steam saunas, part of the healing comes from going from hot to cold. And um, would I recommend that with infrared? It's just a great question. And in, I, 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 like I said, I don't, I've never, I've never, well, it's not true. I have done contrast therapy. I've done it once. That's not my thing. <laughs> like I, I, I'm not, I don't personally, you know, enjoy, I'm so, I'm so happy when I get out of my sauna. I don't want to jump into a cold plunge. I, I, I just can't even imagine that. Um, so, you know, I don't have a lot of experience. I know there's a lot of people that talk about that excessive heat to that really cold, um, but that's not, that's kind of, it's not really kind of your thing. Lightness about. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I think you have to, it. but you can do it if you want. I will do it sometimes, um, especially when my pool is a good temperature, like, but once it gets to November, I'm not hopping in that pool anymore. It's too much. I'm not that much of a, badass but I will do it sometimes and it is refreshing I think one of my best sauna of experiences in my whole life is um, a friend of mine worked at like a fancy outdoor spa in New Mexico and they let him use the facilities after hours for a birthday party that I went to so we would be in the sauna and there was a guy there who's Russian and he would like hit us with like twigs, like, like little branches. We had essential oils and then we would hop in this little lake and then get back in. It was like divine, you know, so you can really create like an experience around it. Um, so if you like the contrast bath, great. If you've got like an outdoor shower, you've got a tub, whatever you want to do. If you like using essential oils, you can do that. You can potentially use a castor oil pack in there a lot of fun things you can do and you can kind of double up on the time uh, that you spend there you could do a meditation while you're in the sauna definitely for autophagy yeah um and is maybe saying the hot and cold but just just doing the hot will get you the autophagy too um with the heat shock protein so great well on that note thank you so much connie this was a really fun conversation i appreciate your time yeah, and if anybody, I know, I feel, you know, I hope we addressed and answered all the questions. So, Bridget, if there's anything that we didn't that is on here, I'm more, like, you know me, like, just ping me and I'll help in any way I can. I want to make sure everybody gets um, what's on their mind answered. Yeah, so I'm sharing Connie's email, but also if you just go to, like, you know, customer service, it is nice to get on the phone and get all your questions. Uh, answered before you make a decision but I will say just to close like I was like even though I loved sauna I was like this is a big investment am I going to use this you're going to use it you're going to use it you're going to stick with it um, you know we all love it in my family so sissy saying your staff is awesome yeah totally you know I like that you can order from a real person and then if you receive it and you have questions we've had some of that come up in our community you know just call them again um, and they'll help you get it all figured out. Thanks everyone for attending and thanks again, Connie, for your time. Thanks, Bridget. It's so great to see you. Bye. Thanks.